Hey there everyone and welcome to the Bootstrap 4 course. So now that basically you understand what is Bootstrap and just to remind you quickly, it's just a pre-written CSS written by somebody else that we can use in our project and that's basically it. So what we're gonna need to get started with the Bootstrap. Now the very first link that I would highly, highly recommend to each and everybody is getbootstrap.com. Now as of the time of this recording, uh, it just says, oh yeah, Bootstrap is coming. And when you'll be watching these videos, Bootstrap will be fully launched there. Uh, but you need to go into the Bootstrap folder is coming right now. And notice this is currently 3.3.7 version and we are always gonna work in Bootstrap 4 in this course. So now it's an alpha 6, but yours is going to be exactly same. You don't need to worry about anything. Uh, there will be exact same things that you need to do. Okay. So this is the official documentation, which you will not need to read much of the time. But still, in case you want to reference anything, there is a documentation that you can go ahead. Uh, by the way, you don't need it because I'm here to help you out. Now, another interesting point that we need of uh, where we are going to write our code. Now I, I expect that you might be coming up from HTML or maybe a little bit CSS background and you might already have a favorite text editor there. But for this entire training, I'm gonna be using Atom. Now, recently I switched in on to the Atom a few a months ago, I guess uh, six or seven months ago and I totally loved it. Now this is available for all platform, Linux, Mac and Windows and I totally love it. One of the reason I love it is because it's completely hackable means it's completely designed in HTML, CSS, uh, and JS. And uh, you can completely rewrite that and there are tons of packages for that, okay? So this is what I'll be using. And also you will need a browser for this. I will be using Chrome because I love, love the Chrome developer tools in here. But again, if you are a Firefox fan or maybe, maybe just saying you might be an Internet Explorer fan there. Uh, if that's the case, hey, go ahead uh, for this training, please use the Chrome, not Internet Explorer, okay? And uh, in case you don't want to use Atom, I don't know what that reason is, but in case you are not a big fan of Atom, uh, then always there is another option like brackets, which you can use, again, cross-platform and freely available there. And after that, there is a sublime text. Now, in case you are a sublime fan, hey, you are not going to be switching anything else. So feel free to use Sublime Text as well in case you are a diehard fan of Sublime there. Now, this was a quick video, obviously, I know, because we just want to grab the tools there. So go ahead, download the atoms as well. And I'll also walk you through with a couple of settings that you need to do with the atoms, okay? So let me fire up my atom. Uh, it's somewhere, it's here. So this is the atom that we have. And there are a couple of packages that I expect you to have, okay? So go into your Atom and click on to the preferences. If you are on a Windows, it might be into Windows and preferences there. Now, Atom comes with a lot of packages and settings there. Now, we would be installing a couple of packages there. Now, my packages are already installed there, so I'll walk you through how you need to do that. Now, you have to go into install click on the packages and you'll see something like this when you will search on that and you just have to click on the install and there you go the package will be installed so what are the packages we are looking for now the first package that we are looking for is atom live server it's by jazz chan and this is the one i'm looking for what it gives you uh, if you go into the package it gives you live server now what is a live server now life is so much easier in the web development when you don't have to reload the page again and again and this live server just does the same thing you don't have to reload your page 100 times after every save it does automatically this thing for you quite a handy tool now first thing is atom live server uh, then the next thing that we are gonna need is emmet E -M -M -E -T. Uh, it's by Amatayo. Now this is kind of a hack for HTML and CSS and by the way we do have a free course on Emmet uh, but you don't need it as of now. I'll be walking you through with a lot of things in the Emmet on the go. Uh, it is there. I'll, I'll walk you through with the usage of everything there as well. Now also I do have file icon. This is just for a fancy icon purposes. Uh, no extra usage there that you want to have. And one and the final one is pigments. Now what does pigment does? Uh, pigment just display the color in your project file and I'll walk you through in the CSS that uh, whatever the color we are writing in the hash uh, C1, 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 it automatically shows us what color that is, okay? And yes, I know there are a lot of uh, 
plugins or uh, packages are installed on my system. You don't need all of them because I do work on React and Python quite a lot. So that is why other packages are here. Okay, so this is officially over. Why I'm saying officially over? Because some people like to use my themes as well. Now by my themes, these are not created by me. These are just I like to use. Now throughout the course, I'll be using uh, the default theme of one dark, one dark. By the way, there, if you're not a big fan of light themes, there is a dark theme, but it's so much harsh on my eyes. So I like to use one dark because we'll be spending a lot of time on the code editor and it should be soothing to the eyes. In case you are a Sublime fan, then there is a Monokai theme available as well. You can choose one dark and click on the Monokai. Again, you have to install it. And this looks like kind of uh, Sublime text. No big deal. And I'm gonna go one dark again. This looks good. Again, to install that, click on the install, search for Monokai and click on the themes and there you go, that's it. Also, there are a couple of settings. Uh, let me just walk you through. Go into your editor and what I want you to do is click on this guy, scroll past end. Uh, very good thing that everybody should have, I, I think so. Uh, but this is, uh, I would love to have it. Not super compulsion, but I think it's good to have it. And this is the official tour over about what we need uh, in the atom that we want to have. Again, just onto a quick revision, uh, we have talked about the basic documentation of Bootstrap. I'll be using Atom, I'll be using Chrome. You can use brackets or sublime text too, in case that is what suits you. A few packages that we need for the Atom is Emmet, uh, a live server, and that's pretty much it.